Yo, what's going on YouTube? Wook here, and welcome to the channel. This is a brand new 8-part series where I go over all the tracks that didn't make their way into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Each video will talk about the missing tracks from that particular Mario Kart game in order of appearance, starting with Super Mario Kart and ending with Mario Kart Tour. First, just a reminder that I'll be doing a giveaway once the channel hits 2,000 subscribers for a $20 Nintendo eShop card. So that means to join the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed. Also, if you want to talk all things Mario Kart or about anything in general, join my Discord server. The link will be in the description down below. Now let's get on with the video. Mario Kart DS, released in November 2005 for the Nintendo DS, and is the only mainline Mario Kart game to be released first in North America. Unlike Mario Kart Double Dash, it goes back to the traditional single driver kart racing elements where players race against seven competitors using item-based weaponry. It is the first handheld Mario Kart title to use live rendered 3D graphics for most of the objects in the game, including characters, vehicles, and racetracks. Mario Kart DS features the Retro Grand Prix, which became a mainstay in the following games, and also has unique features like the Emblem Editor and Mission Modes. Now that we got some history out of the way, let's talk about which tracks didn't make it in to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Starting off the list is Figure 8 Circuit. You would think a track called Figure 8 Circuit would be in a game called Mario Kart 8. As its name states, the course layout is in the shape of an 8 and is the only circuit track in the Mario Kart series to not be based around a character. Do I think we'll see this track again? Probably not. I feel like it's had its chance to be in Mario Kart 8, literally being called Figure 8 Circuit, so I feel like this is the one DS track we won't see return. Next is Yoshi Falls, a simple yet very fun Yoshi theme track. The track takes place in a crater-like valley circling three waterfalls. This track was the last Yoshi theme track to appear in a Mario Kart game until the addition of Yoshi's Island. Yoshi Falls did reappear in Mario Kart Wii, a part of the Shell Cup, but I still think this track could have an amazing HD remake in the next Mario Kart game. Up next is Luigi's Mansion. Here we are, another Luigi track left out. This track is one of the Luigi tracks I really wish returned in 8 Deluxe, especially with the popularity of the Luigi's Mansion games. This track does return in Mario Kart 7 in the Shell Cup, and a remix of its music appears for a battle course in Deluxe. This is a track I am certain we will see return in the next game. Now on to Desert Hills. This track is based on Desert Land from Super Mario Bros. 3 and features the angry sun that drops fire snakes onto the course. I feel like we had a very decent selection of desert tracks in Deluxe, and I'm not too upset about this track not making the cut. It does reappear in Mario Kart Wii in the Leaf Cup. I do think it would be really neat to see the angry sun in an HD glow up, but I think this is one of the tracks that has a low chance of reappearing. Next is Delfino Square. This is one of my favorite tracks from Mario Kart DS. Super Mario Sunshine is my favorite Mario game, and having a track inspired by Delfino Plaza was just amazing. The drawbridge on the track is such an iconic part that everyone remembers. I was happy to see this track return in Mario Kart Wii in the Banana Cup, but I really wish we got to see it in glory in 8 Deluxe. They could have added Sunshine Airport in the background of the track for extra awesomeness. I definitely believe we will be seeing this track again sometime soon. Up next is DK Pass. I have good memories of DK Pass. I thought it was a really well designed snow track, and to think of it, this track is probably connected to the same mountain as DK Summit or even Mount Wario. I can see why this track didn't return to it to being similar to other tracks in the game with the concept of driving around or up a mountain, though this track did make a return in Mario Kart 7 a part of the Leaf Cup, but with DK Summit coming back in 8 Deluxe, I could see this snowy DK track making a return in the next game. Now on to Airship Fortress. This is the DS track I thought was going to make it alongside other creators. The track is inspired by the environment of boss levels seen in Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World. You race through an airship while shooting bullet bills at you, and it returns at Mario Kart 7 in the Lightning Cup, but sadly didn't make it into Deluxe even after its awesome announcement when it came back in Mario Kart Tour. Nintendo knows this track was the top track fans wanted, especially over Mario Circuit, so I strongly believe this track will return in the next Mario Kart game. Next is Bowser's Castle. As I always say, I wish we got more Bowser's Castle tracks, but for some reason, this one just doesn't stick out to me, as other ones do. Maybe it's because it has less thwomps and lava spouts. Though one cool thing about this is the music is an arrangement of Darklands from Super Mario Bros. 3 with elements from Airship Fortress. Out of all the Bowser's Castles, I think this one has a lower chance of returning. The last track on the list is none other than Rainbow Road. I really like this Rainbow Road, and I think it would have fit really nice in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, alongside Anti-Gravity. 
It features a really cool vertical loop and corkscrew, the only inversions in a Mario Kart track before Mario Kart 8. I don't know what the next mechanic will be in the next game, but if they keep forms of anti-gravity, I really hope for this Rainbow Road to make the cut. So Mario Kart DS has a total of 9 tracks that didn't make the cut for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I do anticipate to see a few of these tracks return, like Luigi's Mansion, Delfino Square, Airship Fortress, and Rainbow Road, as they are all mega fan favorites and would look super nice in HD. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment down below on which of these tracks you wish made it into Deluxe. As always, hope to see you in the next video, look out.